means that the last first seed in the remaining team, Lithuania, will go to Group D. Now our group, very interesting group, that, that we have neighbours. From opposite side, we really well know each other. Many players playing in clubs together. So it will be very interesting. For me, it's very important that, that only the team needs to, be, needs to be the best player of country. If we lose something, this will be not national team. And the next team drawn is Serbia. And Serbia will go to Group B. It's our destiny <laughs> to, to, to pop in the strongest group, in my, my, my opinion. And it's uh, after last summer in the World Cup, this is the, the happening again. We are in the strongest group, but uh, we're used to it. A lot of respect for Germany, Spain and Italy, who I think, I believe, uh, is going to be one of the candidates for the medal. It's coming back strong with a strong team. So it's Turkey, uh, Germany with, with Nowitzki. <laughs> Wow, it's, uh, it's amazing, but we're looking forward to that, to, to, to compete. And the final team drawn is Greece, who will go to Group C. Uh, our group is, is good, it's good in the sense that uh, we're going to play in, uh, very close to Greece, in Zagreb. Uh, I believe we're going to have a great atmosphere, because Croatia will be there as a host, uh, also Slovenia. Uh, they have uh, the chance to be so close, so and their fans, you know, they're creating a nice atmosphere. Uh, also, Firum, the same. So what I'm saying is, you know, we're going to be in a group that um, we're going to have a very nice uh, atmosphere inside uh, the court. And the former system was too hard for everybody, for the players, because uh, we have to consider that they're coming from a long season, a lot of games, and especially the guys from NBA that have play minutes and so on and also for the fans. So I think this system is more interesting. Sometimes it can be unfair, but I think it's more interesting for everybody. And the second team drawn is Italy. They go to Group B. You know, the tournament, this kind of tournament, everything can happen. You know, you play every day and for sure in this group is, uh, there are for me two of the, the best team in Europe, two of the best three teams in Europe, like uh, Spain and Serbia. And, uh, and the, the other, the third one uh, will be France in the, in the Group A. And uh, I think if someone want uh, think to go on uh, uh, in this competition, uh, you must not only overcome the group, but overcome maybe in the first two, three positions that, to have chance. When the elimination game start to, to, to compete with, uh, with the team, uh, that you can have some chance. Well, it looks like France will not complain about the, the Group A. Uh, group B and C seem to be the two strongest groups. And in Group D, we have four neighboring countries, so that'll be very interesting too. There's going to be some great matchups in every uh, venue.